and uh, hope we manage to uh, all, all stay on while this uh, weather goes through. Um, our, our agenda had us, has us starting as usual with the national anthem. So Michelle, if you would like to, uh, if you would like to, to play it, uh, please. Thank you. Um, the municipality of Whitestone recognizes all of Canada resides on traditional unceded and or treaty lands of the indigenous people of Turtle Island. We recognize our municipality on the Robinson Huron Treaty Territory is home to many past, present and future indigenous families. This acknowledgement of the land is a declaration of our commitment and collective responsibility to reconcile the past and to honor and value the culture, history, and relationships we have with one another. I'll ask if there is any, any pecuniary interest to declare in today's proceedings on the part of anybody on council. Okay, hearing none. Um, um, so, uh, I, and I see our uh, integrity commissioner has joined us. So, welcome, John. Um, Hello, Mr. Mayor. Thanks, thanks for coming. Um, I, for those of you who came on late, um, the reason that you can't see me here is because there is a problem with the camera in my laptop right now, and uh, I don't know what it is, but I don't want to take time to to uh, to, to fiddle with it at this point. Um, so next uh, is approval of the agenda. Um, whereas the members of the council have been presented with an agenda for the August 3rd, 2023 regular closed session council meeting, be it resolved that the agenda for this meeting be adopted as, present, as presented. Is there a mover and seconder? I'll move it. So that's moved by Councillor Lamb, seconded by sorry, has somebody got a hand I, up somewhere? I can or... second that, Mr. Mayor. Okay, okay. Councillor Lamb. Councillor Lamb seconds. Um I'm gonna say all the I want to say all the all, all those in favor. But uh, I guess we do a recorded vote, uh, Madam Clerk. Yes, thank you. Uh, Councillor Bray. Oh, Councillor Bray is having trouble with her microphone, Mr. Mayor. Your showing is being muted, Councillor Bray. Can you, can you try to unmute if you can hear us? She can't. I. That's what happened to me last night. Right. And and then you were coming and I, and going I had to now. sign out and then sign back in because it was a nightmare. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, Councillor Bray is off camera for a minute. Let's give her a minute and see if she can resolve 
her dilemma. You, you can't unmute her, ma'am. Madam Clerk? No, the only thing that I can do is I can mute her and, and then ask her to unmute, but I can't actually unmute no. a person. That I'm aware of, uh, gosh knows. We could ask Councillor. Oh, she's um. Oh, okay. Looks like she's calling you, as well. Okay, I, I see. I didn't see you there, Janice. So she's on the phone and video. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, we have twins. No, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Hi, 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 hi. You need to turn one of them off by the, I guess, the computer. <laughs> Got it. It's all done. Okay. Sorry, about, sorry about that. I had to turn my mic off for the last uh, uh, environmental stewardship committee meeting, and I don't know how to put it back on. Okay, I'm here. All right, thank you. So we were uh, doing a recorded vote on the adoption of the agenda. Uh, Councillor Bray? Yes. Thank you, Councillor Lamb? Yes. Councillor Nash? Yes. Councillor Woods? Yes. Mayor Comrie? Mayor Comrie, are you there? Um, sorry, I, I, I said yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. I think when you turn your head, it, it um, oh, all right. makes a difference. So, yes, thank you. That motion carries. Okay, thank you. Um, the next uh, item is for us to adjourn to a closed session. Um, so, there are two these are two motions uh, madam clerk is that correct yes there, two there's separate two motions. motions or is it all one motion no there's two motions and they'll be read back to back and that's to comply with the municipal act in regard to the training and education component of the meeting which is intended to be a separate meeting within the meeting um and then following that council the remainder of the session to their matters. But prior to doing that, uh, you will adjourn the training and educational session of the meeting. But the first two uh, motions will be read back to back. Council will, I'm assuming, agree to that. And then during the course of, or at, while we're in closed session, after the training, um, we will adjourn that and then go directly into the other piece. Hopefully that explains. It's just um, okay. some oddball wording within the Municipal Act, but I think we've, we've got it covered. All right, so um, the first motion then is this this meeting move into a closed session at, uh, well, it looks like 412. If we think it get there, it'll be 413 by the time we get there. Um, for an education and train, training session as per section 23931 of the Municipal Act. Um, and uh, so, can I get a mover and seconder for that motion, please? I'll move. Move, move by council. Okay. Thank you. Seconded by. I'll second, Mr. Mayor. Councillor Woods. All right. Any discussion on this part? If not, uh, Madam Clerk, you could call the question, please. Thank you, Councillor Bray. Yes. Councillor Lamb. Yeah. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Woods? Yes. Thank you, Mayor Comrie? Yes. That motion carries. OK. 
Okay, thank you. So, 14 p.m. And you want the second part now too? Yes, please. All right, so this part is that following the adjournment of the educational and training session for item 4.1 of the August 3rd, 2023 closed session agenda, Council of Municipality Whitestone continues to close meeting per the following items. 4.2, personal matters about an, an identifiable individual, including municipal or local board, board employees pursuant to Ontario Municipal Act Section 239-2B. And there are two matters there. Uh, 4.3, proposed or pending acquisition or disposition of land by the municipality or local board pursuant to Ontario Municipal Act Section 239-2C. Um, and there's one item there, and there is item 4.4, um, a position plan procedure criteria or instruction to be applied to any negotiations carried on or to be carried on on behalf of the municipality or local board. And there are two items there. And finally, 4.5 closed session meeting minutes for the regular closed session meeting of July 6, 2023. Is there a mover and seconder for the? I'll move it. Councillor Lamb. And I can second that, uh, Councillor Nash. Okay, thank you. Um, is there any discussion? All right, so I have a, I have some. Um, I have a concern that I wish to share with the council that item the items under four point four um, are not should not properly be included in a closed session. Um, reason's pretty simple. Um, there's, uh, well, first, you know, there is no negotiation that's been authorized that I'm aware of. <laughs> um, there is no proposal in front of us with respect to, to anything or re no report in front of us. And there is no uh, revised agreement or anything of that sort in regard to the, uh, the mentioned here. These items have already been discussed in open session previously, and I'm, you know, puzzled, frankly, to to know why they're this now all of a sudden we're going into closed session. Seems to me that um, we, you know, a matter related to the use of a shore road allowance is something that we we deal with all the time, and normally speaking, that would be done in open session. So. Um, uh, it, I, I, I believe that 4.4 should be struck from this agenda and placed on a future open agenda. That's my advice to the council. May I? Uh, any, any discussion? Yeah, may I speak to that at all, uh, Mr. Mayor? You may, absolutely. Mr. Councillor Nash. Um, so I was the one that requested uh, that 4.41 and 4.42 be put on the agenda. I'm not sure when it was. I'm going to say it was three or four weeks ago and it missed the last uh, closed meeting as staff was was looking into if items and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Michelle, if items were OK to be placed on the agenda um, regarding these two items. And I believe what I heard back and I think there was a little bit of uh, research or review done for it that, yes, they can be put on. And the reason just for 4.42 Bolger Landing Agreement with Magneto on Pioneers Association. So that's an agreement that would have to be negotiated on what we allow uh, the association to do or not do. And with that said, we had not long ago, I think all of council can remember, we had uh, the LCBO on as an example, which was a lease agreement that wanted to be negotiated. So I'm looking at this Bolger Agreement, say we should look at this to see if it should be renewed or removed, as I know some staff and some council have said that municipal assets should be municipal assets, and maybe we don't need agreements. We also know that, um, anyways, I don't want to get into the debate of it right now, 
but that's the reason why, because it is an, an agreement and we as council are allowed to speak to agreements or negotiations on agreements behind uh, closed doors based on the Municipal Act. And as per 4.41, we had at the last council meeting, which was the Bolger Landing negotiations, um, we had a presentation from the Lake Association, which said that although council passed a resolution, I think it's 223 258, if my member serves me correct, um, that we said you're not allowed shore dockers or you're not allowed um, docks, private docks, and you're not allowed uh, rail systems. And they've said that they'd like those things. So I think in closed, Council is allowed to speak as to what we may want as council to negotiate with them on so that we can give direction to somebody if if we so choose, just like again we did with the lease agreement. We're we're allowed to speak behind closed doors when we're wanting to negotiate something that we may offer somebody. Um, and I'm not sure if uh, if Michelle would like to confirm that these were looked at, that they could be put on. Um, I don't feel and I'm the one that asked for it. I don't think we'd have to worry about, um, uh, I was going to say integrity commissioner, and I know Mr. Mascaren's on, but an ombudsman complaint, and if we did, I think would certainly comply to what uh, what we're allowed to put in close. Um, that's that's my uh, my two, uh, two bits on it. We do have another item, 4.3, which is about a road allowance, which is very similar to shore road allowance. So you're saying, Mr. Mayor, that we shouldn't have shore road allowance on but it's okay to put on 4.3 road allowance so um unfortunately i don't i believe they should be on and are justified to be on and would like them to be on thank you okay thank you um are there, are there any other comments or there's one hell of a storm going through here right now holy cow sorry Yes, you are. You are correct. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah, I would simply point out the difference between four point three is that there were offers made back and forth with respect to the purchase of that road allowance. Um, there is no so the the council had a whole raft of documentation in front of it when it discussed these. Um, there there is no documentation in front of us with respect to the items in four point four. Uh, just, so through you, Mr. just through you, Mr. Mayor, there was a slew of documents that have been presented in the past, being the Bolger Lake Association um, presentation, which they said this is what they want to see. It's just not included in this closed package. There's there's letters and there's threats of a possible legal action on us and all these types of things out there, which council has all seen. So there is a lot of stuff. It's just not in this agenda package. It was in a public session. So now we're. It able... was in a public meeting. That's exactly my point. Yeah, uh, it wasn't now, in a public meeting. And now we're able to discuss it behind closed doors. What, what we might want to be able to offer them back, if anything. All right. Well, um, <laughs> is there any further discussion? I don't want to tie up the whole meeting. We're talking about the agenda. Is there any? If not, um, Madam CAO, you can call the question. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Councillor Bray, um, can you repeat what we're what we're voting on, please? Uh, yes, I can. It's it's this it's, it's a motion that says following the adjournment of the education and training session. Uh, that the council and municipality Whitestone continues the closed meeting. Okay. Per the by four, it, no, it's per four the following items, and there they are items four point two, four point three, four point four, and four point five. Okay. Thank you. Um, yes. Councillor Lamb. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Woods? Yes. Mayor Comrie? No. That motion carries. Okay, thank you. That um, we are now in uh, closed session. If we 
if we weren't already after the first motion. The idea that we're going to defer those, the four point, the items under 4.4 .4 to another meeting. Um, you want to just a resolution for it that the council and municipality Whitestone defer items 4.4 .4, uh, and, and, until a future meeting date to be determined? Is that? That would be acceptable, and that would be in the uh, recorded minutes. Okay, so defer I, items four point. What was it? Four point four point two and four point four point one and four point two point four point four point two. Sorry, point four point two uh, to a. Future meeting. Meeting date to be determined. Okay, so I've, that's the motion. As uh, mover and seconder. I'll second that, Mr. Mayor. I think Councillor Lamb moved it. I saw him wave. No, I didn't. I'll but it. Oh, I'll, I'll move it. I'll, I'll, I'll move it. Who's moving? Councillor Lamb. Yeah, I, I sorry, so. I can't see you anymore. I don't have a, my screen up, right? Because I well, lost my internet. I'm, I'm, I'm actually. Anyway, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll second it. <laughs> sorry. All right. So moved by and moved by Councillor Lamb, seconded by Councillor Nash. Uh, let's call a question, please. Councillor Bray. Yes. Councillor Lamb. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Woods. Yes. Mayor Comrie? Yes. Thank you. That motion carries. Confirmatory bylaw, mover and seconder. I'll move, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councilor Ray. Second and by. I'll second I'll... that, Mr. Mayor. Councilor Nash. Okay. Call the question, please. Councilor Bray? Yes. Councilor Lamb? Yes. Councillor Nash? Yes. Councillor Woods? Yes. Mayor Comrie? Yes. Thank you. And finally, adjournment. And just one quick question, Mr. Mayor. Just, I don't think I'm, I think I'm missing it. Do we when, no, I'm having a problem talking tonight. Do we know when our next scheduled closed meeting is? Is it in, a, is it September? September. September. It's September the, well, I'm going to tell you unless the clerk, clerk beats me to it. September yes. Okay, I didn't have September. it in the calendar. It's September 7th, yes. Yeah. Thank you. September so 7th, Thursday, September 7th. Here. You're going to put it in. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Okay. So adjournment, whereas the business of the meeting has concluded, now therefore it resolved that this be adjourned at... Whatever time it is, <laughs> keep losing my time. Seven forty-two here. Until the special council meeting of Tuesday, August. What? Tuesday, August eighth. Oh yes, okay, that is true because we do have a meeting on Tuesday, August eighth, in regard to the procedure bylaw. Sorry, that's why. Okay, who would like to move that? I'll move, Mr. Mayor, Councillor Woods. Thank you, Councillor Wood. Seconded I'll by. Second, I'll second Councillor Lamb. Thank you, Councillor Lamb, thank you very much. All the question? Thank you, Councillor Bray. Yes. Councillor Lamb? Yes. Councillor Nash? Yes. Councillor Woods? Yes. Uh, Mayor Comrie? Yes. Thank you. The meeting is adjourned. Okay. Thank you. Thank have you a good very evening, much, everybody. Very much. Uh, have a good evening. Uh, everybody have a, good long, have a good long weekend. Everybody have a great weekend. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Good night.